then the cosmic holy tenet true kingdom is, how is it going to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth? God. God exists and Adam and Eve and Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve fell at the beginning. Adam and Eve and Satan invaded them. After all, Satan invaded them through performing the give and take action. Well, Satan invaded Adam and Eve. Therefore, originally Adam and Eve should have established the kingdom of heaven, not the kingdom of heaven, Adam's family. Satan invaded Adam's family. Therefore, Satan invaded Adam and Eve's family. Here, Adam and Eve started. They established not the kingdom of heaven on earth, but hell on earth. Truly, I say this many times. If Adam and Eve had perfected themselves, hell on earth would not have been established. Therefore, since Adam and Eve fell, hell on earth was established. All of you do not think that this is hell on earth, maybe. Well, there were the times of no wars in each nation, and many people suffered themselves so much. In Japan, an atomic bomb was dropped, and how many people were killed? At that time, 200,000 or 300,000 people died. You don't think this is hell. It is strange indeed. All of you always feel pain, pain, pain. Do not get along with your husband, fighting with each other among your brothers and sisters, fighting with each other over an inheritance or something, getting sick because of various reasons, a traffic accident occurs, and so on. There are many people in this world who are suffering so much. Well, all of you are good today, but tomorrow you will feel pain, or you will experience a debtor's hell. You have a lot of problems, don't you? All of you who feel supreme happiness now, but who is living in the kingdom of heaven among you? No one. This is the reality. This is the world of hell. The world of hell. Then God fulfilled the providence of salvation. Then God sent Jesus Christ. And God sent the Lord of the Second Advent. God sent Jesus Christ. And God sent the Lord of the Second Advent. God sent the Lord of the Second Coming. And the Lord of the Second Coming. Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Second Coming. Jesus and the Lord of the Second Advent are together in one person. Jesus' Second Coming is the Lord of the Second Coming. Therefore, he summarized the Holy Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament. This is the divine principle. The divine principle was a summary of all the Word. Through the Old Testament, the New Testament, how God intended to save mankind, the Lord of the Second Coming summarized them. This is the principle of salvation. God fulfilled the providence of the Israelites for a thousand years. Christianity is 2,000 years. And the Unification Church is 40 years. God fulfilled these courses as God's portion of responsibility. God's portion of responsibility. God gave us the word as God's portion of responsibility. And we who knew the divine principle were restored through indemnity. This is Abel and Cain. Abel and Cain. Abel and Cain. Restoration of the eldest son birthright. We have separated from Satan through this, through the providence of Abel and Cain. 
through performing the give and take action and separated from Satan, through the providence of Abel and Cain, we have been separating from Satan, separating from Satan. Then what was born? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has come down. And what was born? This is the Holy Spirit. That is, the truth came down. The truth. The truth. This is the truth. And this truth is the word of the feminine God. The word of Jesus, the Lord of the Second Coming, was God's portion of responsibility. The 95%. And this time is man's portion of responsibility. This is man's portion of responsibility. 5%. 5%. Five percent. Five percent. This is God's word. The word. Five percent is the word of the Holy Spirit to save us from the hell in this world. God revealed himself to save us, to save this world of hell through the word of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the word of hell, as God's portion of responsibility, under the condition of the Israelites, Christianity, and the Unification Church through the word, the word of condition with the victorious foundation of Abel and Cain, they provided the Holy Spirit through the word of the Holy Spirit once again. We focused on the fallen world to the world of God through the word of Holy Spirit. Therefore, God prepared the 400 million couples blessing for the Unification Church members. That means Adam's family of 400 million couples were prepared. But then the word came down. Then how do we establish the kingdom of heaven? Therefore, the cosmic God came down to earth. The cosmic God. The cosmic God. The holy tenant came down. The holy tenant. The perfected word. The cosmic holy tenant true kingdom federation fulfilled a victory. And the perfected word came down to the earth. And Adam and Eve... Adam and Eve became perfect. Through the give and take action between Adam and Eve, and all the world will reach perfection. Adam and Eve, naturally, they reach perfection. A perfect man. They became a perfect man. The kingdom of heaven appears. Then, this is the cosmic holy tenant here. The Cosmic Holy Tenet True Kingdom Federation. The Cosmic Holy Tenet True Kingdom Federation is going to become a cosmic family. The Cosmic Family. It was born as the cosmic family. And here is God's palace. We are the true children of God. Therefore, those who receive the extermination of the satanic blood lineage are all true children. Don't say this in the Unification Church. You'll be struck. However, it is true. The satanic blood lineage has no block for the blessed children. Because Adam and Eve fell, God blocked the interaction. Adam and Eve fell. God truly wanted to enter here. He absolutely wanted to enter here. On the contrary, Satan entered here. Therefore, before entering Satan, and they perform a give-and-take action, but God blocked it because of Satan's invasion. He has stopped the give-and-take action. 
Why? To protect God. Therefore, the fallen men have a block. However, the blessed children have no block. Therefore, the block disappears through the extermination of the satanic blood lineage, then the true children. It is the same as the children of the blessed families, but we don't say that they are true children, right? We say the blessed children, don't we? We say the blessed family is a blessed child, a blessed child. Why don't we say the true children? They are conditionally born. Originally the parents became perfect, and then they were supposed to be born. Before we reach perfection, our children were given. Therefore, the blessed children, when their parents reach perfection, and they become true children. The blessed family, we say blessed couples. The father said to God, I will make the blessed couples perfect. Therefore, please give them their blessed children previously. Therefore, parents teach perfection, and at the same time their children reach perfection. And far from becoming perfection, on the contrary, they fell. Now such a terrible thing happened to them. Therefore, the Father cannot feel like crying now. If the word of the Holy Spirit came down, the Father would have made the blessed families welcome into the kingdom of heaven at a stretch. Therefore, it was the blessed families, because they have children. If their parents had received the extermination of the satanic blood lineage, their blessed families should have reached perfection together with their children. However, the blessed families are far from removing the block. On the contrary, they have united into one with Satan already, and their spirit body became dark and terrible. That is the fact. And we are now those who came to receive the extermination of the satanic blood lineage and perform the interaction. Then we became completely the same as the blessed children. However, the blessed children need a condition that their parents become perfect. However, all of you have nothing to do with it. Therefore, if you remove the block and the give and take action is fulfilled, you are already true children. Therefore, the Father tells us, Father, Father. Mother tells us, Mother, here. Father calls us such words as true children, daughters, daughter, sons. Does the Father call us such a word? No. The Father tells us, teacher, teacher, right? Father doesn't say father to us, but teacher to us. Father says to us, Eve, husbands, not daughters and sons. Father calls us only husbands, Eves. That is the reason. That is the reason. That is the reason. Here, those who receive the extermination of the satanic blood lineage are true children. Therefore, in the Unification Church, the Father only says husbands, Eves, to us because we are not true children yet. The Father doesn't say daughters, sons, to us. Here, for the first time, the Father calls us sons, daughters. Therefore, Father wanted to call the blessing families in that way. The physical Father cannot call us so because the Unification Church rejected the word of true parents. They still reject it. What shall we do? They rejected, 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 and rejected it. They are truly rejecting happiness. We we'll laugh at them now. They did not accept the Lord of the Second Coming. The Israelites rejected Jesus. Christianity did not accept the Lord of the Second Coming. We laughed at them and did commit the same failure as they did. We laugh at them. Truly, we laugh at them. How much is the Father crying? He is still truly pitiful. Already the father is 91 years old, isn't he? The father still stands at the front and is earnestly talking about the word. Pitiful now. I watched the father talking about the word. I was watching the U1 video and the father was telling the word. And the true mother was saying to Reverend, Yan, President Yan, President Yan, please stop the father talking. The father was talking about the word now. I watched the father speaking about the word like this. Father was still talking. Then Reverend Yan on the other side saying, everybody, please stand up. Let's offer a holy bow to the true father. Oh, father is still talking about the word, doing like this, opening his arms like this earnestly, saying like this, like that. However, all the members stood up and offered a holy bow to father. It is good for them not to stand up. It is the same as them saying, father, stop talking about the word quickly now. Standing up means this? Is it so? It is not good for them to stand up. However, Reverend Yan said to them, let's offer a bow to the Father. Then they offered a holy bow to Father. The Father was still talking about the Word. Therefore, the Father could not help stop talking about the Word. I was very surprised to see them. They are so troublesome, really.
They do not follow the father, follow the mother. This is the Unification Church now. It is quite an unexpected Unification Church. The Cosmic Holy Tenet family pledges a family pledge saying that the perfect, the dutiful way of filial piety in our family, patriotism in our nation, saints in the world, and a family of divine sons and daughters in heaven and earth is the Cosmic Holy Tenet True Kingdom Federation. From now on, we will do so. So far, Satan existed in all of us. Therefore, we could not fulfill the providence. We could not do God's providence. Satan exists in all of us. From now on, from now on through those whom the cosmic God has entered. Those whom the cosmic God has entered, not a person whom Satan invaded. Are you okay? It is not those who Satan invaded. How about the people in the back seat? Through those who the cosmic God has entered, the kingdom of heaven will be established. From May 1st, please fulfill a victory of this providence, and I ask you to attend the rally on May 1st. The rally for the resurrection will be held. And finally now, and the starting of the world of heart culture, and the kingdom of heaven is the world of God's heart culture. It is the world of God's heart, the world of God's heart. Therefore, no one suffers. What is there for you to know about those who commit suicide, kill themselves? It often happened as I watched TV about 20 years ago, maybe. I was watching a company president on TV. A company president committed suicide. However, his wife did not know why he killed himself. His company was going well. He had no money troubles, nothing to worry. However, he committed suicide. Why did he do so? Why do you guess he killed himself? He worried about something so much. He felt so much pain in his heart. There was something that made him commit suicide. In the Unification Church, even though he or she may have even ten or several million yen debt, no one commits suicide, does he or she? Far from committing suicide, on the contrary, he looks peaceful, looks like a rich man even though he or she has even ten or several million yen in debt. However, in this world, that case was three million yen or three hundred thousand yen. They committed family suicide. Also, I happen to watch TV. They could not pay the money back. Maybe three million yen. And they committed family suicide. Two children in a small car. They draw gas into the car and committed family suicide. The reason was because they could not pay back the money. Oh, really? Such a small amount of money? Then they killed themselves? Maybe they have been harassed to pay. There is such a person. And there is a person who is ten and several million yen in debt, but looks peaceful. Why do such things happen to us? It is because they felt pain in the heart. Therefore, they committed suicide. Therefore, the world of God's heart culture is such a peaceful world in the heart. No one suffers. No debt. No worry about eating. No worry about the future. Such a world is going to be realized. This is the world of the Kingdom of Heaven. This is the Cosmic True Kingdom Federation. The Cosmic Family is a family that will be perfect, perform the dutiful way of filial piety in our family, patriotism in our nation, saints in the world, and a family of divine sons and daughters in heaven and earth. This is God's family. All of you, I earnestly ask you to enter God's family.